Hi, this is Jordan Smith from Rapido Trains Inc. and I'm back again for another launch video. This is for our May product announcements. As you can see, I'm in the photo studio again. Uh, we were filming in a kind of makeshift video booth, but uh, we went on a bit of a hiring blitz here at Rapido headquarters and uh, we have a receptionist desk in that area now. So we're kind of making do for the time being. But anyway, why don't we get right into it? We've got uh, something for everybody if you're in HO scale uh, this month. Um, Lots of new uh, projects, so why don't we dig right into it? And before I get too far ahead, yes, end scalers, we have new stuff on the way. We've got a new project we'll be probably launching in June, another in July, and possibly a third one in August. So uh, stay tuned for those uh, cool new end scale announcements. A must have for uh, many American modelers from the early 70s till today is uh, another essential Southern Pacific and Cotton Belt freight car. This is the B70, so that's the boxcar, 70 ton. Uh, 69, 71, and 75 class uh, double doors. These were built by Pacific Car and Foundry between about 72 and 75, 76, and could be seen pretty much everywhere all across the US, into Canada and Mexico as well. Uh, mainly they were built for lumber loading service out of the Pacific Northwest and other areas, but they could also be seen carrying car parts, uh, pretty much to anything else, general merchandise, whatever service they were needed for. They were very utilitarian boxcars. As you can see, we've got a number of different versions available. First off, we have uh, Cotton Belt, or the St. Louis Southwestern, in uh, the 69 class car. And we also have the 71 class and 75 class Southern Pacific cars. We also have the Golden West Service rebuilds. Uh, these were done in the 1990s, and uh, the later faded out uh, versions um, with the really neat faded blue paint. Now, other purchasers of these included Canadian National. They bought a whole bunch of these, I believe it was in the late 80s or early 90s, for general service, and uh, they could be seen probably into the 2010s at least before being, uh, being retired. We're also doing a painted unlettered version. Uh, if you'd like to uh, do your own, this will be coming in the same kind of as-delivered SP SSW Brown, and if you want to detail your own, decal your own, you can do that as well. And keep in mind, this is just the first release. We will have many different versions uh, that we want to do in the future, and we might have a surprise or two on the way uh, as well for uh, for Canadian modelers. So stay tuned for that. We have a number of different door versions as per the prototype cars. We have separate, uh, separately applied metal grab irons on the sides. We've actually thinned those out a little bit so they're, uh, they're about a 0.4 millimeter uh, wide grab iron. Full underbody detail. We've got a newly tooled 70 ton truck that we're doing for these with a 33 inch wheel diameter size. And again, the same uh, highly detailed ends and draft gear details you saw on our uh, B140 class box car we released last year. Well, that's a quick look at our PCNF B70, 69, 71, and 75 class box cars. Uh, orders are uh, open now. Uh, you can place your orders at your local dealer or at repeatotrains.com and uh, these are expected to be released sometime mid to late 2023. Now for our next two Canadian product announcements, I'm going to throw it over to Dan Darnell, who has our Canadian uh, CN and CP prototype specific uh, piggyback flat cars and 26 foot and 45 foot matching trailers. Uh, take it away, Dan. Thanks, Jordan. Dan could be with us here today, but I will be presenting the flat cars and trailers in his place. So we do have two unique versions of our Canadian uh, TOFC piggyback flats. We have the CP versions, which were built by Marine Industries around 1972-73, and we have the Canadian National versions, which were built in 1966. The CP versions lasted uh, well into the late 1980s in their configuration we're doing in this release. CN cars uh, lasted into the late 80s and early 90s as well. However, the version that we are doing in this run represents their 66 through about 76 uh, versions. If this first run is successful, which we believe it will be, we'll be looking at doing different versions as well. Uh, later on, they removed some of the additional hitches for, uh, so they could fit larger trailers, and some also fit containers as well in the later years. Very late on, later on, some were also used in expressway service in the uh, Toronto-Montreal corridor. As you can see, we've got CN in the as-delivered brown scheme here, and we have CP rail in action red. Both of these cars are also available in undecorated variations, so you can paint up your own to whatever paint scheme or variation you like. But wait, there's more. What would we be doing making a bunch of piggyback flat cars without some trailers to run on them? So with that, we are proud to announce we have two, not one, but two new trailers, the 26-foot can car dry vans and the 45-foot trailmobiles. These trailers uh, first would have appeared, the, uh, the 26 foot in particular would have appeared starting around 1968 and ran into the 1980s. 
whereas the 45-foot trailers appeared in the mid-70s, a full about 10 years before they were approved for American use, and they would have run into the late 80s and early 90s as well. Some of the features on our piggyback trailers include full landing gear with two separate pieces to create either in motion or parked positions, separately applied mud flaps, highly detailed axle and axle areas. The 26 foot trailers also have two styles of front stabilizing bars to create an in motion or a parked version. We also have three numbers per paint scheme and we have many different unique Canadian paint schemes uh, between the two versions. And of course, this is just the first release. If you don't see a paint scheme that uh, you're, really, uh, you're really interested in, we will probably do it in the next release. We have enough to do uh, several releases of Canadian trailers without uh, doing any duplications. So that's a quick look at our piggyback flat cars and Canadian trailers. Uh, I'm going to throw it back to Jordan to talk about a couple of other new projects this month. So next up we have an update and a uh, cool new announcement uh, added on to our Turbo 2.0 project in HO. An exclusive for Heartland Hobby, we are producing the three-car 1971 Amtrak Turbo Tour Trains. Uh, this set toured around the U.S. on a demonstration tour. It went kind of all over the place. Uh, as you can see on the map here, it went all over the U.S. Uh, to just demonstrating the potential of uh, turbo power. This was in 1971, of course, and uh, it was a really successful tour. Uh, obviously, the uh, the, the trains had a little bit more of a kind of a checkered history after that, but uh, it was a, it really got people interested in what uh, the future of rail could be, passenger rail could be in the U.S. So in partnership with Heartland, we have this three-car set available. Uh, pricing is $789.95 U.S., and they are available from any hobby shop. Uh, just go to, go to your shop, have them contact their Heartland rep, and they can put these on order for you. These will be produced at the same time as the, our standard run of uh, 2.0 uh, turbo trains and are expected to be released in mid-2023. Now, like the regular Turbo, the order deadline for these is coming up on June the 15th, so make sure you do get your order in by that date. Now, on to one other project we're just kind of doing an update on. This is the last thing for day today, is uh, the Great Northern Big Sky Blue 40-foot boxcars. We announced these uh, earlier this spring. It's a much requested car for, for Great Northern modelers and um, just modelers in the U.S. in general from the uh, 50s to the 70s and into the 80s, that I might add. Now, one thing we, uh, we're updating is the Big Sky Blue cars. We are now tooling up all of the modernization details. In 1967, these went through a modernization process where they removed the roof walks, they cut down some of the ladders, and uh, upgraded them for, uh, for additional service. And we are now tooling all of those additional details. So if you're modeling the modern era, these are for you. I know I will need some myself. So that is a, a quick look at all of our uh, new uh, May product launches. Um, been a pretty exciting month for that stuff, and we have a whole bunch of new stuff coming in June as well. We got some big, uh, big product announcements and another end scale announcement. So uh, thanks once again for tuning in. We will see you in June. Take care.